So welcome back to Mrs. Wizard's Way. Back to working on the bus again. Let's get started. Hey, I know you guys have been waiting for a bus video forever and I'm so sorry. It has taken a while. I've kind of been waiting for the wizard to get caught up with me and everything. But before we get to the bus, I wanted to show you it's the next installment of my part works, I guess that's what people are calling them. I kind of like the idea. They are part and they're art. So let me give you a close up. For those of you who've been following along, these are more earrings from that ES300 transmission, cut up pieces of the gear. Here is the water pump with a round L from my BMW. Great paperweight. Love the spinning aspect of it. I have a, what I call the BMW lamp, got another round L on there. More transmission parts with a nice copper base to it. These are lamps, by the way, the tall ones are. Here's a lovely one. This guy, the base on this, not the copper part, this is from the distributor spindle from that K10 truck we just had in the shop. This guy, more transmission parts, more transmission parts, and even more. One of my favorites is over here though. I love this guy, love this clock. Isn't this fabulous? Held up with springs. To change the battery on this one and to install the battery, which is right here, because I'm not shipping it with the battery installed. It's gonna go live right there. You just take off these and very carefully take it out, put the battery in, put it back on. Real easy. It even comes with a nice little protector to keep those little delicate hands safe. If you're interested in any of these, check out the link in the description for the eBay auction. Otherwise, let's get back to the bus. And I'm gonna admit, I filmed this a little bit ago. I've been trying to get caught up with bus and parts and bus and parts. So bear with me, good update. I'll see you at the end. As promised, the wizard's going to be helping me today. He said he was going to help get these really put into the bus, make sure that they're really strapped down, get rid of all that rotten wood, that particle board that's littering right now all of the surfaces, and to make sure that we fill in the very, very, very small, but very damaging water leaks. thought I'd give you a shot of looking at the tiny little hole, and it's all because of something really surprising. So we're right above the driver's seat and if we pull down this piece here, that little bitty hole is all because of the horn. That's right, the horn, that's all it was. The horn, those big horns on the top of the, the bus, that's all that's what they were. So Wizard's gonna be working on filling those in with some silicone, getting them all wrapped up. We're gonna put the rest of this up, get this put back, bolted to the side of the bus, but I'll come back, I'll show you the big mess in just a second, but just hang tight. We have both sides done. Now they're both, they're well stocked in there. The other spot, I showed you where the leak was on this side, but on this side, let me show you where the leak was on this side real quick. So on this side, you can see there's a lot of wire. There's like, this is the main wiring harness in here. And on this kind of a beige wire, that kind of, it runs back into there and up and around. We don't really know where it goes yet, but. This is where the water runs along. It runs along this brown wire. And so we at least kind of have an idea of what's going on, or at least it likes that brown wire opposed to the other dozen colors it could have chosen. I think I personally would have chosen this light color right there. That's such a pretty color. But nonetheless, it did not. Okay, ladies and gents, new day, feeling better. Yesterday was pretty hot in here and it was in the afternoon. New day, cooler temps. Let me show you what we got done in the cabinets. So as you can see in there, we've got a little bracing in there. You can see that there's an angle iron that is bracing everything. We've got connections from the bottom that lead into that nice piece of wood there. And then that connects to the kind of an L bracket railing also on the bus. So this thing is now a thousand times sturdier. Still need to work on putting this back up to cover everything back here. You can kind of see a line there. That's where that piece covered up all of it, but we should probably have some more wiring to do. And we had to cut the wiring to a light, but we just need to rewire that real easy as can be. So I told you on the next segment that I was going to start cleaning up the mess that was left because we're pretty well done with the messy spots up here. Now it's just time to get through the cleaning and getting everything, you know, put up to, you know, better standards than how we got it. So let me show you all this mess. Yeah. There's quite a bit down there. Got a few tools still in there. We'll get those put away, a couple of screws. There's our sealant, the 
nice uh, black stuff we put around that screw that was leaking up there but yeah there's a ton of stuff here and so on the carpet it is a mess but there's the handy dandy shop vac so i'm going to go ahead and get busy cleaning in here this is going to be one of those videos where you get to watch me do all the cleaning and everything looks so much nicer when we get done so let me get started Okay, so as you can see, it looks a whole lot better, at least over here. So that's tons better, but I think I'm gonna have to maybe get the box and just scoop it up with my hands. At least this stuff is lightweight and it crumbles, and that's why I've kept the tip on here so I don't overload it too much and it crumbles pretty well, so it's pretty easy to do. You know, it actually kind of crumbles as I put it into the, the nozzle, but I think I need to maybe add some to my trash box here. Oh yeah. No sense sucking all this up. Okay, things are starting to really come together. It's starting to look so much better. I knew it'd be easy to clean up because it hasn't rained here, unfortunately, in forever. And it's easy to suck up. But let's take a peek now. And I still need to take up this board. And I haven't seen anything underneath it. It's always been a mess. So this will be our first look underneath the board that I put there to protect that heating unit underneath. So let's take a peek. So doesn't that look 10,000 times better? All under there is now clean. Got our seat belts tucked out of the way, but that was where that mess was back there that I had to scoop out with my hands. I found something fun though. Let's look back there. There is some of the remnants from the original carpeting that was in here. A lovely shag lime green. I'm much happier with the beige. So I promised to look under here. Let's take a peek did a really good job. You'll see that I have a clamp and that clamp has been on there for a long time because see how well it did. There we go. Because this had split and every time you pulled out, if you were to extend the base for the bed or the sofa that would goes here, it would not slide in nicely. And now it does. It had a crack in the wood and so after setting for about three weeks it cured nicely. But nothing got into the coils. Got a little bit here on the edge. I'll get sucked up. And of course the back wall did get more so I'll get that all scooped out and get all this cleaned up and this area will be done except for the mold. Got to clean out the mold yet but one step at a time. My knees are not doing so good because I need to get this floor cleaned up as well. But as you know, you kind of work when you're vacuuming, you work your way down in case something keeps falling, falling. I don't want to do the floor 12 times. So kneeling on some of this crud is, I think, indented my knees just a bit. But let's take a look at now how good this looks. And there we are. Isn't that great? Put the seat belts back there, just get them out of the way. But so much nicer. Got all of the wood chips I could find. If you notice, I had the light out for a second, trying to make sure I got back into all those nooks and crannies back there as well. Looks like there's not much sawdust because I know that sawdust or crumbled wood is instant firewood. So I definitely don't want to burn down the bus. 
So I'm going to try and tackle some of the, actually what I'll probably, the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this piece of wood back. It does keep it protected as well and it makes for a seat because when it's open the way it is, you don't have anywhere to sit in here. So even though it's not the best place to sit, it's at least something. The other thing I need to do is carefully wrap up the sheet around the driver's seat because that was the one item left on the bus that wasn't part of the bus originally was the this one twin size sheet, flat sheet. So I'm going to carefully wrap that up and just take it outside and shake it out over the lawn. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just wood. It'll decompose. It's organic. So let me get some of this put back together and then I'm going to tackle the floor. So even as careful as we were to try and not get dust and dirt on those seats, still happened. So I'm going to start with the seats, I guess, then I'm going to work my way down to the floor. Let's take a look how much I missed with my sheet. Okay, so I've got this seat working better and there's still a lot of crud on the ground. It was hard to show, so I didn't even really get it out, get the camera off the tripod to show you. But I still have the doghouse. I'm gonna try and clean up. Got some more underneath here, got over there, got this floor. Why don't I go ahead and just get the rest of this cleaned up and I'll come back and show you in just a little bit. Okay, it's starting to get a little warm in here. I have got the floor all vacuumed with at least the shop vac. I'm gonna bring my household vacuum and we have a cordless vacuum with a beater bar and I, it's gonna beat out some of the more of the dirt in here, but at least it's now not covered with crumbles of particle board. Let me show you. So again, nice and clean over there. You can see the driver's seat, no longer covered in crud. The doghouse looking good. And the passenger seat looking good. Floor down there was all cruddy as well. Nothing down there now, a little bit of dust. But you can tell the floor is awfully dirty, especially with on the camera. It's not, it doesn't seem like that in real life, but you can definitely see it on camera. You can see what the original color was and how much it just is kind of faded, aged, got a little bit of dust on it from where that chair was originally. But as we move back, the carpet is in such better shape. So I'm feeling really comfortable up here. We actually do have, I'll admit, we have the sofa and the two chairs back from the upholsters, but I'm not gonna put them in till the very, very end because we don't want anything to happen to them. They're currently in the loft upstairs in the shop where they're gonna be safe and sound, covered with moving blankets and the like to make sure everything stays nice on them. They look good and I wanna give you a nice surprise when they get in here, so. I'm gonna move into the kitchen area next, but that's gonna be another day because um, I've got some errands to go run for the wizard. So I retired and I become the gopher. I've gotta go take some parts to the shippers. So I'll come back, but we're gonna be working in the kitchen next. Okay, new day and I've got all that crap pulled off and I got a lot of goo and gunk and ugh, but I decided that it, here it did need another coat of paint. And check out the little clip here. And you can see it makes a huge difference. You can hear on the right, you can see that I was just starting out getting some paint on there on the left, hadn't touched it. So the paint definitely makes a difference. Let's real quick, let's see what I've done and how I kept everything from getting gross on the ceiling. Okay, so as you can see, doesn't that look a whole lot better? Even though it's still kind of rough from where some of that glue was, I just really could not get off. Look there, doesn't that look a thousand times better? How did I keep it from getting there? Well, here's a little piece left over. I just used some old cardboard, some chipboard that I found. Could have been like cereal boxes if you need to do this yourself, but that's simple. If we go to this door, you can still see I have all these pieces up here and all I did was wedge them and you can see where the paint went and where the paint didn't go. So I was working smarter, not harder, as grandpa used to say. Oh, there's still some glue up there holding things because I couldn't dig it out because it's halfway to China. But doesn't that look nicer? Got the last section done and I'll be honest, one part I could not get to was back there behind this corner, but nobody's ever gonna see it. And so shh, just never say anything if you're ever in my, our bus, you'll just never, never know. But here's some, I noticed that around above the refrigerator, take all this stuff out and you can see, looks great. 
I will be honest that there were a couple of spots I had to be careful on the under part because this is just a Formica. I did get a couple of pieces of uh, paint on the bottom, but I just used a little bit of Goo Gone on a cotton swab and just wiped it right off. I'd show you, but it's not even worth showing. It's so easy. I painted on both sides, up here and on this side. This side is still drying, so I'm going to leave those cardboards there because it takes a little bit of time. You don't want to pull off too soon because you don't want to, if anything, try to smear it onto the ceiling. So I don't want to do that. But you can definitely see it looks so, so much nicer up here. I did have to paint a little bit onto the door frame here, which is where we're going to work on. I've got an accordion door on my Amazon list, but I haven't got it ordered yet because it's just too soon. I need to get other parts done first, but it looks a million times better. The other thing I did find is below the refrigerator. Let's take a peek. Okay, so one thing I noticed is that this board is not so happy. I scraped off the bit of Formica that was on that leading edge but the top part is in really, really sad shape. It's kind of rusty, it's kind of crusty. And so I'm going to sand down the edge just a little bit, and then I'm gonna paint that black to match the black color that's right here. So that's our next step. So I have a little strip of sandpaper that I had in the shop. Actually, the wizard had it. They use it for cars, but obviously it can work for wood as well. And the wood that's down there is just some plywood. So I've gone ahead and sanded it all down. I smoothed the edges just a little bit as well so they weren't so rough, because if you are walking in a bus, sometimes they can move and shuffle a little bit. I really don't want to beat up my shins. So soften that up a little bit, give it a nice, just quick coat of paint, and it looks a lot better. It's still a drying process, so it's a little shinier than what it'll be when it gets fully dry. And you can see I use a little bit of cardboard again to protect that wall space so I don't get any paint there, but it looks a lot better. I also put a little bit of paint also on that back strip as well. So now we zoom out. You would never know that that was supposed to have brown laminate on top of it. It looks like it was supposed to be black all the time. So since I've been working in the kitchen and I've got the paintbrush, I don't have a huge paintbrush, but I didn't need one for what I've been working on. I need kind of an artist brush, which is what I have. I'm gonna go ahead and hit some other areas that haven't been painted ever. And I think, why don't we give them a nice fresh coat of paint after all these years? Couldn't hurt. The first place I'm gonna start is under the sink. I have like some strong magnets to keep those doors closed, but you can see that there's a lot of raw wood here. I'm not gonna paint the back of the doors, but the space down here under the refrigerator and the bottom shelf, maybe not the bottom shelf itself because there's carpet in so many other places. I may end up putting some carpet there just because it makes it easy to clean up. But this bottom line here, he's going to become black in a few seconds. So let me go ahead and get started on that. I'm kind of leaving you with a cliffhanger there with the painting and I hope you like that. I have more planned on it and I've been actually working on it today. So it's getting there, making progress. Again, if you're interested in these, check that link in the description. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Bye.